I'm Toby Pasta, and I am now in a maze. Whee! Look at me. Look at me move. Woo! Whee! If you can guess from this intro, this episode is filled with a maze. Now, the good question is, do I enjoy the maze after this video, or do I contemplate my life after this? Let's find out. Hey, I'm Toby Pasta, and welcome to this little series on internet screamers. We look at numerous scary pranks from back in the day on the internet, with plenty of spooks and laughs. If this is something that you're interested in watching, then feel free to subscribe and click the notification bell so you won't miss anything. This is an ongoing series for a little while. Alrighty, in this episode, we're looking at the scary maze game and everything it has to offer. Back in the day, the maze was a big, a huge success with pranking numerous people, including your grandmother. Yes, grandma. But you know what happens when something gets big. Everybody wants a piece of the pie. We're gonna be looking at numerous sequels, parodies, iterations. This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be amazing, pun intended. How about we start with the original? Let's start with Jeremy Winteroud's very own Scary Maze Game. Let's go and play it. So, we're here. I got my headphones on. You know what that means. We're gonna get scared. What I have right in front of me is the original maze, created by everybody's favorite, Jeremy Winteroud. I might make a video about him very soon. I talked about that in the first episode, but it might be a good idea. So, let's get right into it. Let's get scared. Play the maze. The maze. Let's read it again. Test your skills. Try to reach the goal without touching the walls. How steady is your hand? Not mine. <laughs> let's find out. Try and beat all four levels. Sound effects will help. Okay, let's get into it. So, level one. Easy as pie. Now level two, we gotta be very careful. We don't wanna touch the walls. I already know what's coming up for me, but we're probably still gonna get scared. All right, we're at level three. <laughs> I knew it was coming, but it still got me. <laughs> Why? I always fall for these. Always. So, <laughs> that was the maze. The first original. <laughs> We now have experienced the original together. Let's go on to what other ones Jeremy Winterod made. He actually made quite a few others after its success. Uh, so let's see what else there is. He has one called The Ultimate Maze. I'm not sure if he made this. I believe this is a fan-made maze that somebody made, but it's on his website, winterrod.com. So let's check out this other one. Navigate the maze. Oh, the graphics on this one are horrible. All right, let's play. Uh, do I use my mouse? Or, oh, I think I use, yeah. So this might be a lot easier. I wonder if it's going to be the same pop-up. You know, I just realized something. As I play these, I'm pranking myself over and over. Isn't that crazy? Oh my gosh, that one's quite odd. Uh, we have an odd ball one. I wonder if, like, right where the... Okay, let's see. Uh, oh... E Whoa! <laughs> oh, geez, that one is uh, quite creepier. <laughs> I don't want to be too loud, neighbors. If you hear me, neighbors, I am just getting scared. If I had a heart rate monitor right now, it would probably be skyrocketing. The maze has become so huge during this time. Well, this was like early 2004-ish. It even had an appearance on America's Funniest Home Videos. So this is the version that America's Funniest Home Videos would play on their show. And I think the reason why it was different from the regular maze was because, I mean, the picture of the pop-up is copyrighted and yeah, I don't think America's Funniest Home Videos wanted a real-life copyright strike. <laughs> so, let's check it out. Let's play America's Funniest Home Videos Maze. It's basically the same thing. It looks exactly the same. 
Yeah, it's the same. Oh man. It's there. Oh come on. <laughs> I suck at this. You gotta really test your skills. Sound effects will help. E come on. Alrighty. Was that Tom Bergeron screaming? <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me if he did that. <laughs> Alright, so this is the third one that's on winterroud.com. And we have one special one coming right up. It is... Save Justin Bieber. Are you Justin Bieber's biggest fan? Prove it. Try and make your way through the crowd to help Justin Bieber. Out of my way, guys. Out of my way. We need to see the beams. We need to see the beams. We need to see the beams. Adjust your speakers so you can hear Justin's hit song, Baby, and click play. I wonder if Justin Bieber knows about this. Let's save Justin Bieber. Help him. Play. Let's play. <laughs> Justin is in the game. Justin's the goal, guys. If you have Bieber fever, then play this game. It's basically, ah, oh, it's the same thing, just different colors. I wonder why Jeremy chose this color. I'm going a little too fast because I know that there's something waiting for me. All right. Oh, come on. No. There's nothing scary in this one. Oh, come on. This is just going to be a compilation of me for 10 minutes trying to beat a maze game that is quite easy. Oh! Oh! I'm getting I'm getting more angry than scared. You want to learn how to cheat? Right click, go here. Right click, go here. You're cheating. And we're going to cheat. We're going to go right here. Are you ready, guys? <laughs> but that got me. That got me. Is it because I put in the volume too loud? Maybe. So those were all of Jeremy Winterroud's mazes. Amazing, right? I'm always using the same pun. So one of my favorite websites of all time definitely has to be the Screamer Wiki on uh, Wikia. So screamer.fandom.com. I'm not the only one who loves the whole concept of these scary pranks. There's so many people and they've contributed and made a big wiki with 1,114 pages. That's phenomenal. I just searched up Maze because I know there's definitely quite a bit and a lot of these people went far wide on the internet to go and find these. It says here there's 100 results for the maze. Let's see what the Screamer Wiki has to offer for us. Yeah, we have the ultimate maze, the maze of death. Scary, wow. So with the maze game one, there had to be a maze game two and a maze game three and a lot of fan-made maze games. I don't know how good these are. I don't know if I'm gonna talk about them really. Maybe we'll visit one of them. But uh, yeah, let's see what else we can find. I wanna see The Maze of Death. So let's go check that one out. The Maze of Death is a flash game made by MB on Newgrounds. Great job. Being a popular game during its time, it has been given many sequels, such as The Maze of Death 2, 3, 4, and 5. Similar to the maze, you have to get around a maze, but this time, instead of moving the cursor, you have to click on one of the boxes to pro progress. Once you hit the fourth level and complete it, it gets replaced with a shaken picture of a skeleton that only has one eye with hair. Ah, oh, I've been spoiled! The screamer has been spoiled. But we're gonna go check it out anyways. This is a mouse avoider game. Yep, nothing special, just roll your mouse over a green square to begin. Then proceed to the red square, then green, and proceed to the levels. Remember, don't touch the walls. Oh. Oh. Okay, now I see. So I have to move my cursor all around this... Not the prettiest maze. I feel like there's going to be a screamer already. What? There's going to be no way that I'm going to be able to get through this. Huh? Wait, what? 
Do I have to go through the bottom like this? Oh! I see. So this guy was a bit creative. He worked legit, literally, outside the box. Let's continue this. It's not the prettiest maze, but hey, this was made in 2008. I, do, I, I have to give them credit for where it's due. Oh my gosh. You know what? We're going to use our cheat. All right. Oh my god, it looks demonic. Oh. Wait, there's how many levels? Oh my gosh. There are like 20 levels? 20 levels? We are cheating. Okay, I did not wet my pants, boy, but I did not <laughs> expect that. <laughs> that was good. I rate this one a very spooky one. <laughs> Let's replay me throwing my headphones. <laughs> My favorite mazes of all time uh, it's called steady hand also known as scary maze game 2 back when I used to look up the maze games this was the second one that I've seen and it says here it came out sometime in 2004 so let's play it oh my gosh it's laggy <laughs> it's just because my volume so loud <laughs> that made me jump <laughs> Oh, okay, you have to click on it. Uh... Oh... <sighs> There's only so many screamers I can take, guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. Goosebumps! I have goosebumps! <laughs> oh my god, I'm sweating. I'm sweating. I'm getting too scared, guys! <laughs> All right, we did Scary Maze Game 2. Okay, we'll look at a few more. Um, look at it. <laughs> All right, guys, let's save Sammy. Help Sammy the seal get safely through the maze and away from the sealer's clubs. Try not to hit the wall, or you, might, you and Sammy might not what, like what you like to see. I just realized, this is PETA. What if the screamers like what you don't want to see? I'm, I'm legit frightened right now. Oh my gosh. If it's too inappropriate, I'm not gonna show this on my channel. Little did I know that I was right. Let's see how I react. I'm covering, I'm not covering one of my ears, but I'm scared there's gonna be a big scream or something disgusting, because you, you never know. You never know, PETA. What made them think that they should make a maze? <laughs> No. Fuck you, Peter. I'm disgusted. From this point on, in recording of this video, I couldn't recover from Sammy the Seal. Enjoy my misery. Enjoy my pain. So as you can see, there's a whole lot of mazes here. So in this list, there's multiple of them in this so-called series. So let's go eeny, eeny, meeny, money mo, eeny, meeny, money mo. I don't know the song. Let's press number six. Scary Maze Game 6, why? Why do we need six Scary Maze Games? Okay, let's play it. Whoa. What? 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 Okay. This is a weird maze. A whale. Come on. 
Oh my gosh, did Okay, we're gonna cheat. I'm done with this. <sighs> Cthulhu, will I ever recover from these scary maze games? Will I ever? No. No, you won't, Toby. You never will. You'll never, ever recover. Okay, I'm Toby Fossa, and I'm out, and I don't want to see a maze ever again. I am done with mazes. I am done. I gave that one one last chance. I'm done with mazes for the rest of my life. Over. It's over, maze. I'm sorry, maze. It's over. I'm Toby Pasta. This was Internet Screamers episode four. Let's see what episode five gives us. Right, Pierre. Right. Bye. Perfect.